I don't know if we even have this on the list yet, but if we go back to yesterday, Tyler Hunter per 247 Sports is the number one rated wide receiver slash cornerback. I've never seen anything like it. Like he is like by far, he's gonna come to he's gonna come to Tallahassee and play wide receiver and DB. I don't think there's I I, I don't think you can stop him from doing that. Um he's 125% committed to Florida State. He was also moved up four spots. He's now the number three best player in the class of 2022 this kid is an absolute stud and he is a like people are wondering all right is he gonna flip oh my god he's rated so high he's going to alabama he's gone this kid right here is literally he tweeted earlier today i believe this morning tweeted you know send me some names that i can go after so we can bring him into our florida state class he's been doing this for a while though this guy right here is going to lead these next, not this class, but the classes, these next three classes. Travis Hunter is that talented. And he had a phenomenal weekend, too, uh, at the camp that he was. He's just a freakish athlete that we haven't seen probably around Derwin. Um, I'm trying to think Jalen, um, Dalvin Cook, that those kind of like freak-esque athletes. This guy is on a different level. Jason. What do we think the connection is there? So you got, as you mentioned, the the number one corner slash wide receiver in the country. He's the number one rated player in the state of Georgia. He's a top five player nationally, regardless of position. He's in Georgia. Do, do, do we say the Florida State football program's not doing well right now on the field? Do we know how they were able to make inroads with a guy like this? It's still, as much as we want to say that right now, Florida State is not the national power that it was back in the, the during the dynasty era and even during the, the the first half of last decade. It still is Florida State football. Sure. You're still in 2022. You're going to open the year, or excuse me, I apologize. Now the second game of the season is going to be LSU on national TV inside the Superdome. You're going to have Clemson. You're going to have Miami. You're going to have Florida. All those games are going to be nationally televised. You're going to have, you know, down the road, I think it would be Alabama. I think it's in 2024 and 2025. You're going to have those big names. You're going to get on – you're going to get that exposure. So if you have that talent that Logan was just talking about, if you really play like you are the number three player in the country, your name will be out there. So that's what, that's what it is about coming to Florida State. But he can go to 50 other schools in the country and have that much television time. Right now, though, here's the thing. How many other people are coming to Florida State? You're going to be you're going to be in that starting lineup, arguably right now as a freshman. If you go to Alabama, you're going to have to work. So it, it's an easier road to be on that national that national TV, be on that national stage against against LSU, against Clemson, against Miami as a freshman. Don't steal our thunder, man. Don't, this is a big. I'm moment just trying to figure out what the angle is here. I, I, oh, no, I, that's why a lot of people. That's like I said. I think a lot of people are questioning. You know, does he leave his commitment, go somewhere else? But uh, that's just something. Even I think if Florida State had another three and six year, I think this guy, this this can't call him a kid. He's a freaking freak. It still will come to Florida State. He believes in what Mike Norvell and the staff is doing. He committed about about a few days about a week from now it'd have been a year now that he's been committed to Florida State hard commit I mean there's just nothing about it he's there to be the building block to uh getting this team back and forth and that's something that happened in 2010 2011 2012 where you got these guys that were locked into Florida State uh and stayed committed to kind of go back to where um Derwin James was when he committed I what as a as a sophomore or a freshman he sophomore he was a freshman yeah I think he was a true freshman in high school, and he, I think, already had a some had the Seminole logo, yeah. Seminole head tatted on him, and it was just solidified that he was going to come to Florida State, where he could have gone anywhere in the country, and probably could have gotten paid to go to wherever college he wanted to go to, but um, he stuck with FSU. It's just having those kind of guys right now is what Florida State needs, and that's what Norvell is bringing in right now, and we'll see if that translates onto field production because you're seeing a different kind of mentality of kids coming than what we've yeah. seen in the last four or five years. Mark, this is the second straight week I've had to compliment Mike Norvell and the recruiting right now. Don't Logan is loving this moment right now that I'm having to compliment uh, Mike Norvell. He's loving this. Let this uh, happen. Can we, and What's going on? back real quick down the cutting thing off. I don't know if it was on the docket, but the 2024 kid, I haven't had any time today whatsoever to like look at Twitter and whatnot. 2024 guys, come on. Come on. 